This is about the ritual then with 20 mummified bodies in Edo State. The Nigerian police force uncovered a ritual then with 20 mummified bodies. This was made known by Edo State Command Force, Jennifer Iwebu, ASP. Three suspects was arrested in respect to this. The three suspects include Chimobi Okewu, Oko Samuel, both hail from Afuibo in Ebony State, Nigeria. The third person is Gideon Sonde from Akwaibom State, Nigeria as well. But other suspects, according to the police command, flee away. It's not only these three mentioned, there are some others, but they ran away. The police command in a statement said that following a tip off, its operatives were mobilized to where this incident happened. According to the report, the building where this incident happened is along Osoro Slope of Eken Huang Road, Ukebu Quarters in Benin City, Nigeria. That's where the cops were discovered. The address mentioned above. According to the viral reports, what they discovered in the building includes 15 mummified dead corpses for the male, 15 mummified male corpses, 3 mummified female corpses, and the 2 mummified children corpses respectively. That's what they discovered in the building according to the reports going viral. The command spokesman, Abu Tuyaro by name, quoted that the state police commissioner, the state commissioner of Edo State, have directed, directed the deputy commissioner police in charge of the state criminal investigations and intelligence department to unravel the circumstances surrounding the discovered corpses. So the commissioner of police in Edo State directed his deputy who is in charge of the investigation and other things in the state to look into this matter, to dig in to know the truth of this matter because you know they just um, 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 search through this um, this uh, um, um, place but the truth is not yet known just um, watch the video and see how they discovered these um, corpses just watch the the, 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 the video that's the video yeah that's when the uh, corpses were discovered some are standing while some are lying yeah that's the the child one of the children because they are two according to reports so that's them they have the their their attacks their attacks are still intact that's people videoing them see their head even those that have their beard the beard is still there those that have hair the hairs are still there that's them even the, the clothes of the people caught are still hanging there that's the video things are really happening that's them so keep on watching because there are other ends to this story this story have other dimensions and um, they are also included in this video so watch and know the truth it didn't end here so keep on watching that's them it's a live video so here are other dimensions to this story there are other ends to this story as they said the ritual then is not actually a ritual then but something else as what I'm about to tell you now, it is a mock. So let's keep watching. The leadership and the members of Edo civil society organizations, led by his interim tech chairman by name, leftist Austin Enebulele, 
deem it necessary to respond to this news going viral by giving us another dimension of the story. They totally condemn the one we have listened earlier. They they termed it as fake, but they have something to tell us about this story. They have another dimension of the story. So let's see what they have for us. According to them, the Edo Civil Society Organization enumerated some findings opposing the previous situation. According to him, he enumerated some points which I'm going to number now. The number one here said that the third building where the mummified corpses were found, according to him now, the chairman of that the chairman of that organization saying this now, the number one thing he mentioned, he said that the building where all these mummified bodies, the 20 mummified bodies were found, is not a ritualist den. It's not a ritualist den, according to, to him, but a newly built mark, a newly built mortuary where dead bodies are kept according to him. According to him, this mark where was built to evacuate corpses from an old facility because the operators has been given a quick notice here. The former place where these corpses were kept, they were given a quick notice. So they put here to keep them as if they transfer some of the corpses to here. That's the number one point made. Why did I According to him, the operational name of this morgue is St. Gabriel's Funeral Home with other offices at number 24, 1st Federal Road, Benin City, Nigeria. That's where other offices of this morgue are located. According to him, it has branches in Anambra State, Ebony State, Motala Mohammed Way, and the first is Secular Road, where the corpses we are moved from so he mentioned these addresses where we um you, you or i or another person that is doubting them can go and see other branches where this said um, um a mortuary operates so they have other branches according to him now according to him the three things he mentioned the shrine found in this mug was said to be a form of traditional worship a, a traditional form of worship by the proprietors as a spiritual protection for him and for the business the business he mean now is the mortuary that's the morgue where he he works according to him the viral videos of the corpses circulating are said to have acts that's a means to identify them yeah, because if you go to Montreal, you see tax. So here, the corpses have tax as well. And also, there are medical equipments which are available and also visible to the police. For that interview, with one of the more personnel, that's the person that works there, that was in this, or better still, that was in one of other branches. Yes, because as mentioned earlier, this particular mug have other branches elsewhere review that there are a register of all the corpses in the facility and that some of the owners have been calling to come and carry their corpse. He equally stated that their team of investigators were denied access to the mocks by members of the vigilance group that have been stationed there. That's the mock. According to him, following from the above statements he made, it is not convenient to state that the insinuation by the police that is a, a ritual then, that is the place now, is a ritual then, formally said by the police, is hereby dismissed or debunked as a false claim. He went further to say that he is not saying that the mug might not be used for illegal activities, or that the police do not have the requisite permits to investigate a mug. According to him, they wait for the final investigation of the police because the police are still investigating on this matter. Wow! You have heard from the Interim Public Relations Officer Edo Civil Society Organizations, Leftist Aliyu by name. 
In summary, he said that it's only a monk and not a ritualist then. What's your own take on this story before the police come to the conclusion because they are still investigating on this matter? What's your own take? Are you having the feeling that this can be a cover up or something else? Are these people trying to cover this place up by saying that it's just a mortuary? Because as you know, as we all can see, so many things are now happening in this world. So things are things are happening. So even things you cannot believe are now happening. So this can also be true. But what's your own take? I really want to know your take. Anyways, let's wait for the police, for them to finish because they are still investigating on this matter. Please share this video to your family and friends so that they too can watch and see what is happening in the world now. So share this video so that some of them or all of your friends or families can as well. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.